Hi everyone, it's Ruth Ann Bowen with Wix Design Her. Welcome to this next episode where I'm going to be showing you how to get started in your Wix site. So as you can see, I am here on the dashboard. Uh, I've signed into my account and clicked on the site that I wanna work on and it brings me to this dashboard, which tells me my site name, and it also gives me my site actions. So when you want to edit your site, you're simply going to scroll over where it says site actions and click on it. And you're going to see it says edit site. So when you click on edit site, it's going to open up the editor for you, which as you can see, I'm just not waiting for it to load. I'm just hopping in here because I already loaded it. Um, but once your editor opens up, this is what your screen is going to look like. Now, it's really easy to work in Wix. For example, when you hover over text, it gives you the prompt to edit text. So when you slide over here and click on edit text, it's going to open up another dashboard with your text settings. So here is where you can change your fonts. You can change the size of your font. You can make it bold, italics, underlined. This is where you're gonna change the color of your text. So if you click on the A with the little teardrop, it's going to open up the colors that you've either uploaded um, yourself or it's going to open up all of the different palettes, color palettes that Wix gives you. So if you wanna change your color palette, you can simply click on change and it gives you a ton of different options for color palettes. So if you just want to automatically change the colors on your site, you can just simply click on one of these and it will automatically change it for you. Just like that. And I don't know which one I had, so we're just going to randomly pick one. <laughs> but anyway, so that's how you can change your colors on your site. Um, so we're just gonna click out of that for now. So that's colors, so here's your colors. You can also highlight text by clicking on this. So it tells you, every time you hover over something, Wix tells you what it is. So if you wanna highlight your text, you can do that. And you can also link your text. So this is the icon that you would click on to link your text. So when you click on link, it opens up a whole bunch of options for you. So if you want to click your edit to click your text to a web address, you just click on web address and you type it in here. Let's just put this in for now. And then you click done. And it automatically underlines this for you. I personally don't like that. So I just highlight it and click on underline and get rid of that. <clears throat> so now this text, when I click on it in preview mode, when preview opens, when I click on that text, it's going to take me to the Bowen Agency, which is my company. Uh, so it's just going to click, you click on it and it will take you there. Um, and as you can see, it's just taking a long time to load again. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go back to editor. Now, let's say you want to change out an image. So here we have an image on this site. This is actually a strip and it's broken up into columns. So if you wanna change this particular column, we're just gonna click on it and it's going to say change column background. So when you click on change column background, it's going to open up all the different options for you. You can make this a color and you can just simply click on the color that you wanna change it to. Or if you want to change the actual image like they had there, then just click on image and the Wix media library will open up for you and take you to um, all of the thousands of pictures that Wix offers you for free. So you can just go ahead and click on free from Wix here on the left hand side menu and you can search for any type of industry or picture that you're looking for. So let's say we're going to look for soap because this is a clean template, clean e-commerce template. Okay, so here you see when I put in soap, it pulls all of the different pictures that are for free in the Wix library that you can use on your site. So you can just simply click on one to select it, click change background, and it will automatically change the background of this column to that image that you just selected. And there it is. 
Now, as you can see, this picture, it's hard to read the text that's over this picture. So what we can do is we can go into settings and we can change the image opacity. So we can scale this back all the way down really far. Let's just kind of go to here. <clears throat> And it's still kind of hard to read. So let's change the color of our text. So again, we're going to click on that. We're going to click on edit text and we're going to come to color. And we're just going to make this a little bit darker so that we can see the text that's on this column over this picture. So if you've ever wanted to know how to change text over a picture, this is how you do it. All right. Now, where you can add different things. So over here on the left hand column, this add button is really where you're going to do most of the editing magic for your site. So when you click on this add button, you'll see that another dashboard opens up with all of the different options that you get for making changes on your site. So if you want to add some vector art, let's say for example, just click on vector art and then you can click all vector art and this will pull up again all of the free vector art that you can use on your site. I don't know if they have any soap, but let's put it in and see. So looks like they do. So let's pretend we wanted to add one of these vector arts to our site. We'll just click on it to select it. We're going to add it to the page and it will automatically show up here on your site. Now, it's a little bit, here, I'm gonna pull this down so you can see it. Now, if you wanna change the color of your vector art, you simply click on this icon here that looks like the paintbrush, and let's pick a color that maybe matches a little bit more with our site and what we're doing here. So we'll just randomly pick a color just to show you how that works. So you see how I changed the color? I simply clicked on the square that offers our different color palettes on the back end. And you can just randomly pick one. So play around with it, see which one you like the best, see which one's gonna show up the best, and then just X out, and it will save that vector art as that color. So again, we're gonna come back over to add. You can see over here, there's so many different things you can add to your site. You can add a shape, you can add your button, you can add a box, you can add a strip. And I'll be going through these each individually in future episodes. But just so you know where to go to work with all of these, it's right here under this add button. So if you are wanting to stay informed with new tips and tricks on how to edit your Wix website the best and make it a money-making machine for you, then please hit subscribe for Wix Design Her. We'd love to have you join our community and feel free to visit and join our Facebook group too, Wix Design Her. So you just go to facebook.com slash Wix Design Her and uh, we'd love to have you in the group.